Okay. Now, this session we are talking about. We are talking about migration for health workers. And fortunately for us, midwives are part of this recruitment, mental health nurses and general health workers are part of this uh, recruitment. Uh, most, of you, uh, most of you have been following my page and my business for quite a long time. And uh, when it comes to these things of recruiting nurses and health workers to the UK without the person having the either the OET or the IEL, mostly. I'm coming, please. Yes, most of you guys are aware of what we do. Now, this is a new package that I have at hand and uh, we are looking for people who are interested. Now we are to, I am to advise you, I am to explain in details what goes into this recruitment. Um, in the first place, New Zealand pays more than the UK that we are here. Um, UK, you get your money, but obviously you will just spend it um, on utilities and those things. So um, they will get their money. You get around your 20 to 30,000 to 35,000 pounds uh, for a year or to a larger extent, some 40,000 pounds a year. But these amounts, you will just spend it um, on utilities, on bill and other bills and stuff. But one thing about um, New Zealand is that they will pay you well, more than the UK, but you don't spend much as compared to uh, how much you spend here in the UK. That is the first thing. And the second thing also is that the also speak English, uh -huh, that is one thing. And they have, um, their population is not as much as we have here um, in the UK. So at least they have some advantages over UK. It's not like, I'm, because I'm talking about, uh, I'm coming. It's not because I'm talking about um, New Zealand, that is why um, just, um, talking ill about um, the UK. No, that is not it. But I'm just trying to tell you what is in stock for us. And most of us too, maybe, um, this may be the first time that you may be hearing about uh, New Zealand in terms of its economy and whatsoever. Anything that I would say, we all are privy to the internet and we can go online and search for wh uh, where they are located, their GDP and everything. Now, with this offer, what goes into it? Now, you already know that with, with my offer, sometimes it's quite expensive. I understand it and I know I know it and I know the system that we are all in, in terms of Ghana, the economy and whatever is happening there. And I'm aware of it, but um, it's expensive though, but I know that most of us will be able to uh, afford it once we are done with with whatever we are discussing here. Now, this is how the process is. We need people, that is these three categories. We are talking about mental health nurses, general health workers, or general nurses with diploma or degree, not certificate nurses, who have their CBT. If you are a midwife, you have your CBT. This one is for you. Now, the process is that, you are getting your New Zealand visa. We are getting you your New Zealand visa. You are being interviewed by your New Zealand um, employers, but you will continue your process in New Zealand and you also continue your process, part of your process in UK. When I say that you continue your process, part of it in New Zealand and part of it in UK, what does it mean? What it means is that 
We will first be interviewed by your employer where you will first do your first employer interview. That is the first stage. And after doing your first employer interview, you are given your, your contract and whatever is involved in it. We apply for your visa for you in the first place, your New Zealand visa. Now, you know the process of becoming a registered nurse as we have it here in UK is the same as the process of being registered, being a registered nurse in the New Zealand. And with whatever we are discussing afterwards, if you have any question, you can put it on board and I will answer you. They have the same system. That is you writing either the CBT plus your OET or your IELTS and you completing it with your OSCE. The same thing happens in New Zealand. But the difference here is that New Zealand, their OSCE and their OET cost is quite expensive and its preparation too is quite expensive regards uh, when you compare it to that of, um, I'm coming, let me admit these people, comparing it to that of um, the UK. And you know that uh, most of my people that first, you have to write the CBT, you come here and you write the OET and you write the OSCE. That is, that is how we do it. Now with this, after getting your New Zealand visa, we get you a visa to come here in UK to come here in UK and complete your OSCE, not the OET, not the IELTS. You only come here and write your OSCE. That is the OSCE in the UK here. This is within three to a month, three weeks to one month for you to write your OSCE here in, U in UK. Now, after writing your OSCE, and you pass your OSCE, you are transferred to New Zealand. And you for your transfer from here, that is in UK here to New Zealand, the plane ticket is all part of the charge. You don't pay for any plane ticket. That is if you are being transferred from here to New Zealand, you don't pay for any plane ticket. Now, when you come around here, your accommodation is part of the cost. Your OSCE training is part of the cost. Your feeding is part of the cost that will be charged you. And when you go to, um, that is after you are done with your OET, I'm sorry, your OSCE here, and you are being transferred to uh, New Zealand, your fee, that is your accommodation fee for a month is also part of the fees that you will pay here. So, when you go to what do we call it, New Zealand, it will be left with one exams. So as I said, the first exams to be written that you have to have is the CBT. For that one, most of us here have it. Now we will come to the UK and write the OSCE. That will be the second exams. And the third exams will be the OET or the IELTS. That one will be written in New Zealand, not here in UK. And the advantage here is that even when you go to the uh, to New Zealand, now IELTS, and OET Prano, well, won't you mean Troy? And as our trainers are wearing chat, Okohonum now trainers are wearing chat, you are still working as a healthcare assistant. But rather, you wouldn't work as a, uh, what do we call it, a registered nurse. It is after you've written your OET or your IELTS and you've passed. There is where you'll be recognized as a, uh, what do we call it, a registered nurse. Because what if I, when I get there and I don't pass the exams, what is my faith? Your faith is that you are still in the working uh, field. That your faith is that instead of you being a registered nurse where you are taking more than 40,000 to 50,000 pounds, you take around 30 to 35,000 pounds as a healthcare assistant in New Zealand. That is, that is, that is the totality of it. Now let's come to the payment aspect. As I told you, I know, and sometimes when this, these packages came, that was some years back when I started that most of you guys thought it wasn't true. And later they, they found out that it was true. 
you know, it started with like, wow, that was UK last two years when it started. It started with 3,500 pounds. And now even if it's around 12,000 pounds, that is the charge that we charge for the UK package. Now, with this uh, New Zealand package, what is in it? Now, the full package, including your transfers, your accommodation, your OET, your OSCE cost, and the, the tuition and all those things, it's 14,000 pounds. The mood, my name is Oyan Besho, but let's, let me give you the breakdown. It's 14,000 pounds. But with this 14,000 pounds, you are paying only 8,000 pounds here. And the rest will be paid in installment. That is one month, one month, one month for six months installment in New Zealand when you start working. So you are paying. No, you have. Uh, oh. So you are paying eight thousand pounds in Ghana as you live. Oh. Uh, you are paying eight thousand pounds here, and the rest is paid in installment basis for six months continue when you start working in Australia. So with the 8,000 pound, it's 4,000 pound down, 4,000 pound after visa. And this one too, you can go with all, any family member that you want as it is with the UK. Any family member, any dependent as you want, you can also go uh, with them. And the timeline is between a month to three, uh, one month to three months with that. Uh, we'll be able to finish with everything for you. And as said, this one is for general nurses, mental health nurses, and for midwives. And for midwives, I think this is the first time that I've had a package that uh, midwives are all uh, part of the of the package. Now the the floor is all yours. If you have any question, if you have anything to ask. If you have any doubt, if there is any Tomax that you want me to address it, kindly ask you that I deal with it for you, please. Okay, hello. Yes, I hello. Please, please, please put your hands so that I. I have Augustine on the Augustine, can you talk? Can I hear you? Can I ask? Okay, I th okay, yes, I'm I'm listening. Can I speak? Yes, please. All right. So my question is that when you get to New Zealand mm -hmm. and you fill the test. Mm -hmm. Can you, is there any possibility that you can write the exam again for you to pass or that's, that will be all? It will no. only one test. No, it's not only once. You can try it as much as you can for, I think, four or five attempts before you wait. It's just like the normal one with, with the UK. So it's not like you just write it once and you are, your, your, your time is exhausted. No, that is not it, please. All right, all right. Thank you. Someone is okay. I think so. Who is? Hello. Hello. Yes, please. Yeah, please. I have a question. Here. My question is: mm -hmm. uh, you said four thousand pounds before and four thousand pounds after. Sure. So what I want to know is: uh, are you going to pay the four thousand maybe straight, or it's still in installments? Maybe thousand today, thousand next week. Process days you pay this, or four thousand like down payment straight away. No, nah, you know, you know, we also deal with COS. Okay. Uh, as as it is with UK, as I told you, the, the system is the same as that of um, UK. So you pay, you get your COS. Uh, that is why you have to make that payment and go to your interview. We get the COS. We go through the next stage for the visa acquisition. So it's not like you can just be doing the the offertory something of, of a sort. Once you are ready, we, we just start with it. But maybe the 
arrangement I can do is that let's say I give you a week or so to gather yourself because there's a lot that they are looking for. Once I get it, I'll have learn how to uh, fill the space. Okay. And uh, you said it, it takes about a, a month to three. Yes, about to three. Okay, so please, like, would, would it be maybe after the payment before the interview and the offer letter, or like, can you please explain that, that part to me? You know, I have to assess my people myself. Know that the okay. people that I'm assessing are ready for, for it before I put their CVs and their documents to them. Because I've seen okay. that there have been a lot of instances that I will put this. They will be interviewed, their offer letters will come, and I don't know if they making payments will be an issue. So mostly I have to make sure that if I'm getting my money, I'm getting my money. You are going, you are going. That is how I, I mostly do it. I don't know if you've dealt with my institution before. Oh, yeah. Like I've been joining on uh, both Facebook and WhatsApp okay. for the past two years or so. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, please. So now that maybe what of can you get uh, because I heard you, you can pay someone like that kind of attachment. Is it still possible? Because I don't think this amount of money uh, one can afford all these things. Yeah, that thing, that thing is possible. But, you know, I will have to make arrangement for those at least. You know, I have to get my, my, my nurses ready before I talk of getting my attaches ready. Oh, okay. For me, I'm, I'm ready and I'm so much interested. So I don't know. Okay. So once um, we are done with the session, I think we, you can... I'll put a number there, the one of the office numbers, so that you have the office number. No, oh, okay. 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 Okay, thank Hello. you. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. Yeah, I I joined I joined quite not so long. So okay. I want to find out the requirement. Okay. The requirement is you you being a nurse, a general or mental health nurse or a midwife. With your CV, that is, um, um, sorry, with your CV and your CBT results, that is the basic requirement that we need. Oh, okay. That is the basic okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. But, but um, let me add this, man. Um, I, I have a wife also a nurse. Mm -hmm. Can we, can we pay? You have a wife who is also a nurse? Yes, please. Oh, you can go with your wife. As I said, you can go with your wife. With, with the same um, um, £4,000? Deposit. Or... Yes. Yeah, with the same £4,000 deposit. But the only thing here is that if you are adding a dependent, there will be an additional cost of £1,000. That is it. And I'm going to... Oh, okay. Yeah, that is it. Besides that, there's okay. You can add your. All right, thank you. And okay, one, okay. All right. One, someone is asking whether what happened to those who have both IELTS and CBT. Please, um, Eben, I'll uh, um find out from my people if they can absorb you, um, those with the IELTS and those with the CBT. I will. I'll ask my people on that. And uh, please, any package for caregivers? <laughs> for caregivers in UK or for for caregivers in for caregivers, I have the slots, so, but there are some batches that they are see. Um, what do see? Was I'm still waiting for a which I've been given the seventeenth or nineteenth. I'm forgetting the name to have the COS. I have other employers who are giving me COS as I'm here in the UK. But there are some there are some slots there if uh, like you are interested uh, we can work on it there. Do we pay extra half for dependents? Yes, that is what I've I sent. Uh, you pay extra for of a thousand pound. And one thing is if I hadn't if I hadn't come around for business. Oh, excuse me. 
if I hadn't come around here, I wouldn't have known that people are charging almost 16, 17,000 pounds for the care ride. It's now becoming a business around you, but I'm very business for, for my people. How much is the next paid in? Uh, New Zealand, for you going to start as a... Oh, who is this? For New, for New Zealand, you starting on the first basis, you are getting 35,000 to 40,000 40, pounds. When we convert it to a pound, like converting it from their currency to pound, we are talking about 35 to 40,000 pounds. That is what you are getting per annum. And then it's not expensive like here in London that you pay around um, for utilities or your accommodation around five to a thousand pounds. 500 to 1,000 pounds per month. No, DS is quite, quite, quite on the low, on the low section. Uh -huh. But I know for the yearly one, but the hours, it will be on your, uh, what do we call it? Your offer that the employer will give you. That is where you get your, um, you know, your listing. The amount that you get per hour. Now, what is the CBT result? The CBT is for nurses uh -huh, and midwives. It's an exam by the uh, NMC UK. Um, and uh, what is the required ban for IELTS? Yes, please. I think, Adam, do you have any question for me? And I call Ernest. Your hands are up. Hello. 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 Okay. So, if anyone, one, uh, what is the required band for hours and can, well, yes, you can combine it as it is with UK. It's a seven 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 six point five. They use the same system as that of UK. They use the same system as that of UK. You can combine two results and we will be able to use that for the employment. Please, I've seen some hands up, but it seems they are not talking. And if you are ready. Hello. Yes, please. Mrs. Um, please, uh, I would like to ask uh, mm -hmm. that you were saying that the OSCE will be written in the UK. Sure. So good. what if the person gets there and then? he or she is not able to pass the first attempt. What does the person do? The OSCE, you have three attempts to write. Okay. It's not like, it's not like one attempt and um, you, are, you, are, you are left to your feet. And okay. the most important thing is that we are um, allocating you to New Zealand, not to UK. So we have to make sure that you pass the exams. And and move to uh, what do we call it New Zealand uh -huh. so it's not like you write it once and that is all we won't attend to you no 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 that is not it okay please um, my other question uh, is there any opportunity for carer jobs in the New Zealand you see that is why I said when you are going home you know, you go as a pre-registered nurse, the same as that, 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 that of the UK. So the job that you will be doing, um, in case Christ said you don't pass the, what do we call it, the OET, you are still working as a carer. In case you don't pass the IELTS, you are still working as a carer. So the jobs there, there are jobs there for caring care homes. But okay. uh, as I speak now, no dear, I don't have the direct link like I have the care home links in, in UK. Okay. Uh, I the, the one that I have is what I am. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. please. In case it's yeah. it's almost we have six minutes, so in case of anything, you can join back. Okay. Yeah, I want to ask if there's possibility for to move um as a registered nursing UK to move to New Zealand. Come again. 
Is there any opportunity as a registered nurse in the UK to move to New Zealand? Yes, there's that, that all these things I need to find out from my recruiters because I may give you an info that later it wouldn't be um, an accurate one. So I'll have to okay. find out from my, my employers and, and, and get back to you. Um, last question. What, okay, what is you. the ban for IELT for the New Zealand? For the IELT for the New Zealand. Seven, band seven, as I told you, band seven. Band but, seven. Uh -huh, band seven. But... Like average band seven or like every writing, reading, all should be seven. Writing is one five, the rest should be seven. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, hello. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, please. Uh, I passed my CBT mm -hmm. and I've written the uh, UK VI academic IELTS. Mm -hmm. Then I had seven, seven, six point five, and five point five in uh, reading. No, that is so not. I'm, I'm, yeah, so I'm asking, like, is there any maybe an urgent, uh, maybe recruitment in the UK for maybe a carer or senior carer? Yes, that is why I said you just you just WhatsApp me. I'll send you a number so that you 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 continue with that number. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um, please, in case you don't pass your first attempt, first funding is part of the charges. Do you pay for the subsequent one? Uh, for that one, no, it will be very difficult for them to, because the uh, OSCE is around 300 or 400 pounds, forgetting the exact amount. Uh -huh. So once you write it on the first attempt, you don't pass, you just have to make sure that you just, they will provide you the tuition and the materials again. But for them to say that they are going to foot it, the bill again, it will be very uh, difficult for that one. Uh -huh. It will be very difficult. Will there be the need to seek clearance? Because before you write the CBT, it should be cleared with the MOH. Uh -huh. So, Tisa, before you do that, you, know, you need to seek um, Clearance before you do that. Uh, what is the guarantee that you will get the offer after pay? Um, I I don't know, uh, Patricia, how best you've 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 known my self. If you don't get it, I'll give your money to you. If you don't get it, what is the record? I'll give your money to you. And the most important thing that they are looking for is you are ready. You have your money. That is what they are looking for. And one advice that I can also give to my people here today is that I've been seeing and hearing a lot of things in regards to the Ghanaians that come here. Now, we should know that how we work in Ghana is totally different from how work is done here in, in UK. It's very different in the, in the for, foreign land. So sometimes when we come around now, we should know how we work and we should follow protocols as they will do so that we don't be um, saying that this and that. Please, will the government refund the amount you spent? For that one day, for that one day, I don't know about that refund package. For that one, I don't know about that one. But unless I ask, and you'll be interviewed. So in the course of the interview, you can ask all these questions with regards to, to it. And um, Rafael, I need your number. You see, my, my personal number, no. That is one thing, no. Huh? My personal number, no. I will give you, can you explain the whole process within some few minutes okay. for the late one? Yes, um, Augustine, please, I will upload it and I will, you see, we have some one minutes and. Hello. Okay. Hello. Yes, please. I have a question. My question is, I'm so much particular about the, about the time and the duration. Mm -hmm. You said one month to three months. Sure. So does it mean that maybe it can be completed within a month or... Yeah. Yeah. You have to, the only thing you have to do is just to prepare your money. Because I don't want a situation, I have a lot of situations where and go for people who has a CIA, yeah, yeah, they came last week or two. I'm um, that's what they make up. Um, that's what they all, all that they will see is that oh, we didn't know that in a bit. Me, I passed. 
didn't know this. Uh -huh. And you all that I need to know, there was a guy already. That is that is one thing. Uh -huh. I don't want the situation where the package is is this is ready and you are saying that uh -huh, please I have out, but there's no UK via. Please can I still apply? Yes, you can. If it is not used to UK via, you can you can still apply. And, Hey, my colleague, I think I'll have a number so that you make my work at all, any time. 024831. I don't know. 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 I don